Today in this video, we're gonna be going over how your toilet works. This is a gravity fed toilet. We're gonna go over all the components of this toilet individually. That way you guys can understand which each part, how it, you know they function together. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna go over some things you can do to diagnose and inspect the toilet to make sure everything is up and running correctly. And we're also gonna discuss some issues, some common issues that people have and what causes those common issues. So we're gonna go over all the visible components of your toilet. The first thing that you're gonna have on your toilet is gonna to be your bow. And your bow is gonna be equipped with two lids that go and open as you're using the bathroom. And then you're also gonna have your mounting bolt, which is gonna be right here at the bottom of the toilet. And this is gonna keep it the secure to the toilet to the floor. You're gonna have always two of those. You can see on this particular toilet that this one is damaged. So this one's gonna wanna be replaced. That way you can make sure that the connection from the toilet to the floor is secure. The next thing that you're gonna have is gonna be the main water shutoff valve that you see right here that's gonna be located in the back. This is where the water is gonna be coming from your distribution all the way in here. It's gonna go run up in this pipe and it's gonna go right in here to the tank. And that's how you're getting water into your tank and also into your boat. Next thing that you're gonna see, and I don't know if it might be difficult for you guys to see on this video, is you're gonna have the two tank boats. So let me see if I could turn on the flash here so you guys can get a better look. So you guys can see here, this is with the flash on. This right here is gonna be the tank boat. So you're gonna also have two of those as well. So you have the two mountain boats that hold the toilet to the floor. These are gonna hold the tank to the bow. And you see that metal right in there, that's gonna be the tank ring, okay? That's gonna be a ring that's gonna allow water from inside the tank to go into the bow. It's a secure connection that keeps those two, um, pretty much the tank and the bow connected securely, okay? So you wanna make sure that's snug as well. And you're also gonna have another tank bow on the other side. So if you see, if I go over here, you're gonna see that there's another boat right in there, okay? And this right here is just gonna be your handle, and this is gonna attach to the chain that's inside the lid, and that's gonna connect to the flapper, and we're gonna go ahead and open the lid now, that way you guys can see the inside components. So yeah, here is the inside of how your tank will look. Right here, you're gonna have the handle, that, can, that we looked on the outside, and this is gonna be the chain. So obviously when you flush right here, this is gonna lift up, it's gonna pull the flapper, which is what you see right there at the bottom, that red circular object, that's the flapper, okay? And its job is to bring the water from the tank to your bow, okay? This right here is gonna be your overflow tube. You can see that there's a tube right here that runs to your refill tube. This is your refill tube. And as you flush, the water is gonna go and travel through the valve. It's gonna go right in here to your refill tube. From the refill tube, a small excess amount will go into the overflow tube right in this pipe, and that will also go in the bowl. As you flush, this lifts up, the flapper comes up, it's gonna slowly lower, water's gonna go from the tank, into the bowl, and then right here is your cap, okay? This is gonna be your float cap. Your toilet might have a float ball. Most have the cap. This is what most modern toilets have. And what that job is, it's supposed to float down when you flush. When the water is changing level, the float is supposed to go up and down as the water changes levels. Once it reaches the top, the water's supposed to stop, and that's when the tank has reached the water level that it's supposed to be at. So these right here are your screws that we talked about that were under here. Those are your tank bolts. So you can see them from the inside as well. So if you go to the side of your toilet, this is how you're gonna be able to locate your drain pipe. So the drain pipe is what you see right here, this long pipe that goes from the toilet and goes down. This is where the waste is gonna travel. So when you flush, the pressure and gravity is gonna force all the waste, the water to go down the drain pipe, all the way down right in here. To the last component that we're gonna talk about, the only component that's not gonna be visible. This is gonna be the wax ring and your flange. Now, this is a very important component to the toilet. 
The wax ring is a pretty much it's, it's what it is. It's a ring of wax that is used to seal the connection point between your toilet and the floor. Okay, the drain and not the the floor, the uh, the drain pipe. Okay, and well, it, it is on the floor, so all of that is pretty much connected together. Okay, so it'll be a ring of wax, and then also there's gonna be a flange, and that's usually metal. So both the metal and the wax are gonna be used as a secure connection to hold the toilet to the floor to the drain pipe. All three connected right here where that waste would be going down into. All right, so now that we showed you guys how the toilet works and we went ahead and went all over all the components of the toilet, I'm gonna show you a few things that you guys can do to diagnose your toilet if there's anything wrong with it. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna examine the toilet for any cracks. So like I mentioned earlier, there's a missing bolt right here. Um, so that would wanna be fixed. So you wanna just examine the outside of the toilet for any cracks. The next thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna open the lid up and make sure that the toilet's not um, loose. Um, the reason why I say that is because if you have the lid on, you, if you go right here, it might the lid might not be secure and it might trick you to thinking the toilet is loose when it's not. So go ahead and open the lid and just go to the side and the toilet should be flush. It shouldn't be moving. So you can see here, this is perfect, okay? So after you go ahead and do that, there's no cracks, the toilet is nice and firm. You're gonna flush the toilet with everything closed and examine it from afar, okay? So we're gonna flush the toilet. And what you're looking for is to see if there's any water coming from the bottom. If you have water coming from the bottom, then you're gonna have the wax ring that's probably gonna be broken or that flange. And that's gonna be probably the more serious um, thing out of all the things that we're gonna be talking about. So if you see water coming in from the bottom, that is probably gonna be typically due to a wax ring that's broken. Um, if you see water coming in from the back here of that valve, that could mean two things. It could be something simple as you just needing to tighten it and that could just be a loose valve or you could have a cracked valve. So you would wanna examine that if you have a leak coming in from here. If you have water coming right in here from the tank to the bowl, that ring that I talked about earlier, guys, so that needs to be secure. So if water is leaking from this point, if you see water coming in this area, that can mean that the ring that holds the, the tank to the bowl is not secure and it's allowing water to leak through. Okay, so if you don't see any leaks going from there, the next thing that you want to do is you want to open up the lid. And now we're going to flush and examine the toilet, flushing with everything open, okay? So, after you go ahead and do that, we're going to want to go ahead and flush again. So I just want to talk about a couple things that might happen. So if you have too much water going into your tank, that means you probably have your fill valve not working properly. That can mean that the cap's not working properly, and it, what, it's, what it's not allowing to water to stop, and that's also an issue. So how do you know if you have too much water in the tank? Well, you're either gonna have a line on the wall here, or you're gonna have what I have, where it says water line right here on the overflow tube, and that where the water is supposed to be right there is set. So if it goes over that line, then you know obviously you have too much water. If you have too much water going into the bowl when you flush, that could be that the flapper right here is broken. So if you wanna get ahead and get closer, that flapper needs to work properly. If there's too much water going into the bowl, it's typically gonna either be that the flapper is either not working properly or this over the, the overflow tube as well is not working properly, okay? But typically it's gonna be one of these two things that are broken. It could also mean that you have a small microscopic leak. And if you do have a small microscopic leak, an easy way to check that is you can actually just go ahead and get some dye, this um, non-harmful dye. You could just put this in your pool. So what you would want to do is you want to wait till the, the water to stop. And what you would do is you would just take a few dots and go into the tank just like that, okay? If you see that dye reach the bowl, that means you have a small microscopic leak right there where the toilet um, flopper, flapper is, I'm sorry. So that would obviously need to be replaced if you have that, because if there's no toilet being flushed and there's still water, that dye reaches there, that means, like I said, you have that small microscopic leak. Now, if you have a clogged pipe, your clogged pipe, drain pipe, remember we talk, our drain pipe is right here, guys. So the drain pipe is gonna be here. So if you're flushing and the water's overflowing and it's not the flapper and it's not in here, you could just have a clogged pipe. You might need a plunger 
to get the the pipe unclogged, you might need a snake as well. And that's just a few things that you guys can do, um, basic things you can do to diagnose your toilet and see if there's anything wrong with it.